Coach of the Year. Mike Argue. After retiring from competitive skiing nationally and internationally, Mike immediately took up coaching in the North. He has taken on the high performance program in Yellowknife and has provided his athletes with several opportunities at big races in the South. At races, Mike is not just a coach, but he takes on the roles as chaperone, cook, and wax technician. He is a fantastic role model for all youth. He shows what it means to be an active community member, supportive adult, and coach. In addition to developing technical skills, Mike role models important developmental and life skills for athletes, which include a healthy relationship to competition, self-discipline, integrity, commitment, follow-through, generosity, kindness, and fun. Melissa Bard. Melissa has been coaching in the North for the past seven years. Her experience has seen her coach young children in the Go Ball program she co-founded, all the way to college university players. In addition to coaching different age levels, Melissa also coaches a variety of different skill levels, including grassroots and high performance. She has been the head coach of the 2010 and 2014 Arctic Winter Games, in which the Team NWT women's basketball team took home the Silver Ulu. Melissa continues to find new ways to get involved with the basketball community across Yellowknife and the NWT by planning summer drop-in sessions, mentoring new coaches, and encouraging past high-performance players to follow in her footsteps of coaching. Mike Doyle. Mike's resume for coaching in the North is far from short after more than 15 years of coaching. Carrying a National B license with the Canadian Soccer Association, he has had the privilege to coach a variety of teams, including teams at the Arctic Winter Games and Canada Summer Games. Mike's dedication to the development of youth soccer in the NWT is inspiring. His knowledge of the game and his ability to communicate with his players makes him an excellent mentor for all coaches across the territory. Mike offers his resources and knowledge of the game on a consistent basis to spread the sport across the North. Alan Gillis and William Logan. Alan and William are coaching tandem of the East 3 Secondary School Eagles under 19 boys basketball team. It only seemed fitting for these two to be nominated together as they not only co-coach while in Inuvik, but they also chaperone together when at out-of-town tournaments. William, followed by Alan, have transformed an undisciplined junior basketball team into a senior territorial championship winning team. They have provided a safe haven for these young adults by offering them an outlet while promoting physical activity. Alan and William have shown immense commitment to their athletes and in turn the players have responded through devotion to the team. Matthew Gray. Over the last five years, Matthew has transformed the Yellowknife Golf Club and the Golf NT program. With a combination of experience as an assistant coach and head coach of Golf NT, Matthew has enhanced the program across the North. He has been the head coach for Team NWT Golf at the 2013 Canada Summer Games, the 2014 North American Indigenous Games, and is the coach of the upcoming 2015 Western Canada Summer Games team later this summer. He has rebooted the free Monday junior program at the Yellowknife Golf Club with numbers doubling over the last three years. Matthew not only cares about helping his athletes become better players, but also ensures they enjoy themselves while learning new skills. Nick Saturnino. Nick is the head coach of the Inuvik Junior Ladies Curling Team. And with his team, Nick has represented the NWT at three Canadian Junior Curling Championships, the 2014 Arctic Winter Games, and the 2015 Canada Winter Games. He not only uses his time to coach the McKay Saturnino Junior Team, but also works with the grassroots curlers to teach them more about the game. With his junior ladies team attending university in the fall, Nick will have some newfound time on his hands, and it will be more than likely he'll be back in the rink searching for the next great foursome of junior women's curlers. Your 2015 Sport North Coach of the Year is Mario DeForge. Mario has been an integral part of the judo community in the North as well as Canada. As a Shodan black belt, he coaches judo in the NWT and Nunavut while also involved in delivery of judo through grassroots training up to the national level. Above and beyond, Mario has obtained his Level 3 National Coach Certification, Level 1 Judo Official, and is trained in many crisis intervention and anger management programs. Judo at times can be seen as a physically aggressive sport, but Mario helps emphasize the technique and demeanor of the sport. 
Through the sport, he has been able to use the philosophy and principles of judo as a vehicle to improve the lives of individuals with social and cognitive challenges. He has done something that only few coaches achieve in their coaching career. He has used judo to tackle social problems within communities, not just in the North. He has been recognized twice by Judo Quebec as Sports Educator of the Year, while being named Coach of the Year in Nunavut in 2007. Presently, Mario is the President, Technical Director, and Head Coach of the NWT Judo Association and the Judo North NWT Judo Club. He presides over the Judo Canada Committee on Aboriginal Affairs, as well as sitting on the Board of Governors for Judo Canada. Mario's presence is felt throughout the North in a wide variety of capacities. The NWT sport and community has benefited immensely for the contribution and dedication Mario has given to the sport in the North. Congratulations to Mario DeForge, Sport North's Coach of the Year.